Hey, hello everybody, this is Dr. Cam Ewan, Dr. Chiropractor for more than 30 years. Anyway, from my experience uh, dealing with people's um, physical problems, even when they have mental problems and spiritual problems, you could actually uh, resolve it through their body, but through the central intelligence of their body, which would be the central nervous system. So this would be my second segment on leukemia. I make comments about it. It's not so much leukemia give you these symptoms. Uh, it's really the symptom leads to condition that they would define as leukemia. So you want to get rid of these symptoms, right? So like if you have bleeding, um, well, you can have bleeding without leukemia, right? But if you bleed, well, that means that something is not going on right in your blood, your blood cells. And when your blood cells come together, they actually behave like a tissue, right? Of course, you're not going to say blood tissue. People would think that you're coming from another, well, country or something. Um, so you got blood tissue. Blood could actually kind of behave like an organ, right? And and you have blood as a system, so that's um, it's kind of like a circulatory system. Everybody knows, and uh, blood could become structural, right? It has its own structure, so it has structure as cells, as tissue, as organ, as a system, and um, you want to maintain that structure. And when the blood is flowing. Uh, correctly as it meant to flow then it's really not a problem at all right so and a person bruising a lot well that most likely would be the the capillaries it could be venous capillary like the veins or the arterial capillaries so you definitely want to make both of these even with each other so you don't have one weaker than the other. So you got uh, arterial capillaries, and um, and when it breaks up, then you get a bruise. And likewise for venous uh, capillaries, and um, you want to strengthen the capillaries. So of course, you could take vitamin C and and vitamin C complex to um, to improve that. But in addition, you know, you could just find the weakness in those capillaries and allow those weakness to strengthen themselves in the right order. So when you do that, the, the bruising would be less or, or not exist. So the third one on this list is fever and record reoccurring or recurring uh, infection. So as we know, infection, or oh, from my experience, as we know. <laughs> so infections start off with um, with sluggishness. Uh, most likely would be the, the blood or the fluid uh, circulating in our body. So you have a sluggishness that leads to stagnation. And then from stagnation, it, it will lead, it could leave, it doesn't have to, um, it leads into uh, blockages, right? It just become a block, and then um, then you get into a congestion, and from congestion, it would lead to inflammation. And then the inflammation leads to uh, infection. If you have the pathogens, if you have the virus, you have uh, bacteria, fungi, and yeast. Those are the infections, right? So those are levels of infection. And then you have infestation. When when the pathogen become very aggressive, they become parasitic, so you call it infestation. So you, you, follow, you follow that pathway. Uh, sluggishness is like slowing down, and of course as we age, we choose to slow down. So everything become, you could say, sluggish. And that's not a good thing, right? You don't want to be sluggish. 
and then um, stagnation stagnation leads to uh, uh, blockages and blockages lead to congestion congestion leads to uh, inflammation inflammation leads to infection infection uh, leads to infestation it, it's an order of how it affects a person's body but it doesn't have to follow this exact order it could uh, you could have infestation and, and that would be the leading effect on the body right so it could be any order but it's when you have the insight that you know what order uh, of weakness that it, it appears and when you know the order your body's intelligence will just resolve it right so I'm not giving any med- uh, medicinal approach right this is not therapy of course it's not philosophy either right so it's how you approach your connection or using your physical intelligent connection with your body and that's how you can improve your um, physical potential so you don't have like in this case uh, leukemia so when you have these uh, symptoms you, you definitely gonna have an effect on a on your blood right so feeling weak well is because the, the blood could have a problem make you feel weak but when you're feeling weak you're gonna reinforce the problems in your blood right so it, it may sound like I'm just contradicting myself in a way I am right so if you feel weak and fatigue well you have to uh, keep the blood uh, circulating uh, in the arteries and veins and the capillaries also and um, if you feel any weakness there and you identify the weakness you would allow the weakness to strengthen themselves right in a matter of second right not I Okay, strengthen himself next week, right? So it's really uh, happens right away. So feeling weak and tired, you know, that's a common thing, right? You don't have to have leukemia to have that, but if you have a lot of weakness and tiredness continuously, well, it's going to have an f- effect on the person's blood. It would make the blood kind of uh, fatigue also. I mean, the the blood cell becomes weak, right? The blood cell becomes tired, right? So, if you as a person is tired, well, the cells in your body become tired. Uh, you know, it could be your muscle cell, bone cells, but it includes your your blood cells too. So, the blood cells is actually um, easier to strengthen. Actually, they're constantly moving around more than let's say your bone cells, right? So and you have to look at things that way and uh, and allow yourself to experience it and get to results right what's there to argument if you have results right so it's all about results right and no debate no excuses why something doesn't work and you're going to make more studies and research now, none of that uh, you know needs to happen so I'm going to close my um, segment right now uh, or my discussion and I will give you another one because I don't want to bore you give you a long discussion each time so I, I would I would continue on my next segment on leukemia that people should be in charge of there's no re- reason why anyone should die from it right so thank you so much for listening and um, go on my website it's called youmethod.com I'm starting uh, also a website called uh, wellnessbook.org and then um, since I'm a doctor chiropractor I'm starting kyoscience.org so um, we, we want to keep outside of um, how things could be done not from a from a medicine standpoint it's just from a human standpoint right so as human beings we should be able to do anything we choose to do on our body by making them I mean, make our body more, uh, as far as having more fitness and health and all that. So, thank you so much.
Hey, hello, everybody. If you are listening to my podcast, um, they are now all on iTunes. So leave me a, a review uh, so I could do better and better in meeting your wellness needs.